Imagine you visit the same restaurant once a month for many years and every time you go there you order the same meal. Let's say steak with pepper sauce and green beans. One day the restaurant announces they made the same meal but slightly different ingredients. Instead of steak you'll get steaming pile of shit in a hot piece sprinkled with nice sugary colorful icing. And this is how the new Doom looks to me. A shitty game with a nice coat. This is gonna be a short vid and it's gonna be a rant rather than a review. Right from the start I have to say I didn't like this new Doom and I don't understand the hype. Why? There are a couple of reasons. Some may sound petty and not important but I'm here to rant so bear with me. Music for the original Doom and Doom 2 was composed by Bobby Prince. It was a masterpiece and still is till this day. They even used one of his tracks in Doom Eternal's menu. Of course they remade it a bit but it's clearly the music in level 30 from Doom 2. Unfortunately, that's the only good track in the entire game. And now about the music in the game itself. In the original Doom, Bobby Prince and John Romero used a combination of ambient, creepy music in some levels and heavy metal and rock music in others. The music was astonishing. Every track fit perfectly in the level they used it in. The music in Doom Eternal is so generic, you can't tell the difference between the tracks throughout the game. And besides that, it's shite. John Carmack is the bloke responsible for the game's engine. The engine is called It Tech 7 and it's another masterpiece. It's bloody well optimized. It runs pretty fast even on slower hardware without problems. It allows developers to use extreme details and all possible graphics enhancements that today's GPUs use. So far so good. The most advanced engine there is. The problem, at least in my opinion, lies within textures. I'm not sure why that is, but today's developers fancy to use flashy, oversaturated, colorful graphics. It looks unnatural and simply awful. I'm not saying that Doom is one of those games that should look natural, of course not. But it's too colorful and flashy and I don't like it. It's a 3D first person shooter. No elaborate story, a simple goal, to kill whatever you see in front of you. Pretty simple concept which works and always worked. Then why does a game like this need a guy to tell you what to do or where to go? Are people becoming more stupid that developers have to guide them through the game as they were toddlers? Or have people become so lazy they can't even spend a couple of minutes to figure out what path to take to get to the bloody finish line? It seems this is the new trend and it sucks. The game is too chaotic. You are running about trying to hit whatever moves, demons are appearing left and right out of thin air and most of the time you're running out of ammo. Don't get me wrong, I'm not necessarily complaining about game's difficulty, I love a good challenge, but this is just pure chaos. What I hate most about the game though is the way you replenish ammo and health. The ammo and the health are scarce in this world and there are two ways you can get them. You can either find it on the ground and pick it up by running through or with so called glory kills where you shoot the demon to a point of death. He then starts to shine and at this point you can execute the glory kill that makes the demon drop the health. I'm sorry but it's just stupid and only adds to the chaos that's already pretty severe. Ammo is gathered in a similar way either pick it up or kill the demon with a chainsaw. He then drops this colored crap which is supposed to be ammo. They could have saved the game a bit, at least for me, with co-op mode. But no, it's probably not cool enough for today's games. 
Or maybe it's too complicated to implement it. When the original Doom came out, co-op game was one of the most praised features of the game. On it was hell of a fun to connect computers together via parallel port and slay demons together with your friends. I tried playing the game for a couple of hours. I really tried to like it, but it was too boring to crack on. I had to quit the game and uninstall it. Is it just me? Am I fed up with first person shooters after all these years? Or is it targeted for different kind of gamers? Perhaps it's for younger people who never played games like Doom, Blood or Hexen. This is of course my personal opinion. On it apparently doesn't reflect what majority of gamers reckon.